I am absolutely thrilled that Roe vs. Wade has been overturned. It is a huge win for all who believe in the sanctity of human life. But we can't be tempted to think that we can now rest. A huge battle has been won, but the struggle to protect life isn't over. It's just entered a new chapter. Pro-abortion activists who favor the right to murder unwanted babies will not sit idly by and accept that they've been defeated. Even those who are in states that will grant abortions, they won't rest until all abortions are legal across the country. I am spitting mad over this. We have six extremist justices on the United States Supreme Court who have decided that their moral and religious views should be imposed on the rest of America. This is not what America wants. What this means to women is such an insult. It's a slap in the face to women about using their own judgment. We must be equally tenacious and determined to not rest until all forms of abortion are banned nationwide. Here in Nebraska, we're going to take further steps to protect those pre-born babies. We must turn our attention to local government to ensure our state legislatures pass pro-life bills while not being distracted from actions taken at the federal level. Pro-choice supporters will do all they can, both in constitutional and unconstitutional ways, to ensure that unrestricted access to abortion is the standard for our nation. Expect riots and violence against pro-life organizations to be encouraged. Pro-life pregnancy centers have already been firebombed. Pro-life advocates have been pushed down and pepper sprayed. Do these actions suggest that pro-choice activists will back down now that Roe versus Wade is overturned? Nothing less than the very lives of our most vulnerable citizens are at stake. We can't relax and congratulate ourselves over the incredible victory of Roe versus Wade being overturned. It should be celebrated, but remember, it's just the beginning, not the end.